Ottavolle was born on July 12, 1894, in Grossberg Wedel, in the German Empire. He fought in World War I, and served in the post-war Reichswehr, and later in several staff roles in the Wehrmacht. Between October 1940 and May 1942, he served as Chief of Staff of Field Marshal Erich von Manstein's 11th Army, in this position. Voller cooperated closely with the Einsatzgruppe D, under Otto, Ollendorf. At one point, he requested that all watches belonging to murdered Jews be turned over to the army. Voller was then appointed Chief of Staff of Army Group Center under Field Marshal Gunther von Kludge. His first combat command was the 1st Army Corps, which he led from February to August 1943 before being given command of the 8th Army in August 1943. In December 1944, he was appointed commander of Army Group South. After the war, Voller was investigated by the Allied powers, and was implicated in Einsatzgruppen activities while serving as Chief of Staff of the 11th Army in early 1942. During pre-trial interrogations, he admitted that Manstein awarded iron crosses to Einsatzgruppen troops and described the cooperation with them as, generally free of friction. He was tried by a U.S. military tribunal at Nuremberg. At the trial, Voller denied knowledge of the Einsatzgruppen functions and any complicity in helping to carry their actions. He was convicted of implementing the barbarous jurisdiction order, which allowed the murder of civilians on the pretext of counteracting partisan activity. He was also found guilty of deportations of civilians for slave labor and cooperation with Einsatzgruppen. He was sentenced to eight years' imprisonment in October 1948. During a sentence review in 1949, his sentence was confirmed with no reductions. But, because the sentence had been backdated to 1945, he was released in February 1951 on good time credit grounds. Not much is known all about his post-release life, but he died in Grossberg Vedelon, February 5, 1987, at the age of 92.